Hello, my name is David Patterson. I'm a professor of infectious diseases at the University of Queensland in Brisbane, Australia. And I'm with Professor Chip Chambers, professor of infectious diseases from UCSF in California. Chip, this morning we had news from a journal called Nature Microbiology that a new class of antibiotics has been discovered called malocidins. Can you briefly describe the impact of this discovery? Yes, yeah, so this is um, an interesting approach to identifying an antibiotic because uh, the genetic approach was used to predict that uh, a useful antibiotic might be produced by this organism. Um, the activity of the organism is against Staph aureus and other gram positives, which um, it would be nice to have something that would be effective against the current problem of drug-resistant organisms, the gram-negatives, a different kind of bacteria. But uh, this antibiotic works against drug-resistant Staph aureus, uh, which currently have to be treated with antibiotics that are not quite as effective as the preferred drug, which is penicillin-type drugs. So, in summary, malocidins, thumbs up that we do have a new antibiotic discovered, thumbs up that we've got a new technique for discovering antibiotics, but timelines and probabilities of this actually coming to us in patient, be able to treat patients? Yeah, there are several steps along the way. Um, it might not be the compound that ultimately gets developed. It may require chemical modification, there has to be safety testing, and then there has to be proof that the antibiotic works when administered to a human. Um, that's a, a, a time frame of seven to ten years potentially. So exciting discoveries, but a lot more work to be done. Thanks for listening.